The Free Syrian Army has vowed to hunt down a rebel commander who was filmed cutting out and eating an organ from a government soldier's dead body. The disturbing video has emerged just as David Cameron announces that Britain is doubling its military support for the Syrian rebels. A warning, this report by our chief correspondent Alex Thompson does contain very distressing images. It is brutal beyond belief, also staggeringly stupid for the rebel cause in Syria. A free Syrian army fighter, Khalid al-Hamad, cutting the lung from the body of a dead government soldier and sinking his teeth into it. Under pressure from the US, the FSA made the following statement today. Any act contrary to the values that the Syrian people have paid their blood and lost their homes to will not be tolerated. The abuser will be punished severely, even if they are associated with the free Syrian army. The Channel 4 News filmmaker Mani spent a lot of time with Khaled al-Hamad on the front lines near Homs in central Syria. Well, we're sitting here now, he says. Maybe everyone's been shot. <laughs> Often laughing and joking with his men. He, he was respected by other fighters, and he, would, he was not a senior leader. He was not in charge of... Uh, of organizing attacks like on a, on, a, on a big scale or he was not a strategist or he was you know, one of the fighters who would have men uh, under his command. Khaled al-Hamad seen here in fighting days before the notorious organ biting video. Now it's all over pro-regime websites in Syria and beyond. Probably the worst propaganda own goal by the FSA since what appeared to be their men shooting dead captured unarmed pro-government militiamen back in August in Aleppo. So why should the West directly arm men such as these? That question a little less easily answered now by the likes of David Cameron in the US in part to campaign for direct arming of the FSA. If we don't engage with the opposition, and let's be clear, the opposition has said it wants a free and democratic and pluralist Syria that protects the rights of minorities. If we don't engage with the opposition, then we shouldn't be surprised if extremist elements in that opposition grow. That's not what we want. Khalid al-Hamid is just one man, of course, in a war which has seen huge brutality from all sides. But in war, sometimes one telling image speaks louder than guns. And this message, brutal beyond imagination, is not one the Free Syrian Army will soon be allowed to forget.